You may forgive, but you do not forget. What's going on world? It's your girl Emmy here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my bedroom and welcome back to another episode of me. I'm still playing around with the intros. I don't really know if this is what I'm gonna stick with, but it's what I've been using lately, so I might continue. But clearly, if you clicked on this video, you already know what's going on, it's the Mars series. So let me just get right into just understanding what Mars represents in astrology. Mars is a planet of action, and it basically tells us how you go about getting the things that you want. It's what distracts you, it's what motivates you. It definitely does have an element of your overall energy, energy, passion, and drive. Think about Mars in mythology, Mars is a planet of war, so it definitely does have those elements to it, aggression even. Um, there's also a sexual energy, your overall sexual energy. It can show what you're attracted to. I'm mainly focusing in this series about like, you know, the instinctual and ego side of Mars, but there is, Mars is the planet of sex. So sex and aggression, right? Um, but yeah, I think that's straight to the point. I think you get it. Um, so let's just move on to the next sign. Okay. Okay, the next sign, the next sign that we have is a Scorpio Mars. Hey, Scorpios. I've noticed every placement that I've done that is a Scorpio has done well. So I'm assuming this will also do well. Um, so I just want to say thank you to the Scorpios because y'all be holding me down and you're really helping me grow on the internet. And with that being said, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. It really does help me out a lot. You don't understand. But um, with that being said, let's just get into this video. So Scorpio, it's ruled by Mars. It can also be ruled by Pluto, depending on who you're talking to. I personally feel like there's elements of both. I see it. Um, so I think I'll maybe talk about both. Moral of the story, um, Scorpio is exalted in Mars, meaning that what Scorpio represents and what Mars represents is aligned and Mars likes to be in Scorpio. So you, Scorpio, are a very magnetic person. You radiate sexual energy naturally. You you have a lot of people who are attracted to you. You have a lot of people, you get noticed, okay? Probably have very low-key energy, um, very um, observant. Your privacy is probably very important to you. You may come off a little shy, a little introverted. You peep everything. I think I already said the, the observant thing, but you peep everything. You are watching, okay? <laughs> they can have an intense energy. Mars is a planet of action, right? So if you're going about something, if there's, um, like let's say even in the workplace, right? Like you may come off very intense in the workplace, um, but is just because you want to make sure things are done well and perfect because it's a reflection of you. I would say um, Scorpio and Mars are very determined people and they do have an intense energy. Um, now this can be healthy or and it cannot be help healthy, right? So Scorpio is a fixed sign, which means that you can obsess over things and you can fixate on things. I feel like there's going to be a smirk that when I said obsess. <laughs> um, overall, you will push through and make your goals happen. Whatever you want to do or believe in yourself to do, you will accomplish. This is a placement that gives its all in anything, right? Um, all or nothing. That's you're you're either zero or one hundred. You're either all in it or you're not in it. That is that's a Scorpio Mars right there. You might even value or put a lot of self your self-worth into the things that you do sorry if you can hear that plane i hope it's not too loud let me just be a little quiet a little bit um but yeah you see you see the things that you do as a reflection of you which makes you i don't want to say fix of, over it more but like really just want to do even better you know like i said all or nothing but you just you take things seriously scorpio is a water sign it does things based off emotion you follow your intuition so intuition in this position in this placement i would say your intuition your instinctual intuition if that makes sense so there is like a natural you know human response but there's also like intuitional response that you just kind of go go based off of um even though you may not you may you probably think about things you know you might take your time because you're a fixed sign right so you, you're taking your time before you make a decision but if you don't follow your intuition or if you don't just lead with your intuition i do recommend starting because your intuition is always on point um that little feeling in your head or your stomach wherever you get it 
um, is right. So trust yourself because, and I already know you know trust yourself because trust yourself more than anybody else. Trust your intuition as well. You're very good at picking people's energy up, so don't underestimate yourself there. Mars does have an element of relationships, so I would say that you're not the type to do very big gestures you're not really into small talk you really want to know or get to know people for who they really are you want to make soul connections you want to connect with people very deeply intimacy is also very important to you um having intimate connections uh sexually as well it's really important to you you might because you have this natural sexual um and i'm not saying like you're like cardi b with it i'm just saying like you have like this like dark feminine energy thing going on. I think I have a video on that. I can even link it if you like. It's like this natural thing that you have, like this confidence, this like poise, I guess, um, that may have a lot of lust for people into you. You may have a lot of like sexual relationships. Like you don't try to have the sex appeal, if that makes sense. You have a lot of magnetism, so people are drawn to you and people may be drawn to you for the wrong reasons, including this sexual lustful energy that I'm saying. You are ruled by the sexual organs. Scorpio is ruled by the sexual organs, right? Every zodiac is ruled by a thing. So a placement, body of the placement, but placement of the body, wow. But I just want you to be mindful of that. You know, use your intuition, you know, when someone is just trying to use you for your body but hey you can also use that to your advantage you see what i'm saying i know you know how to do that but just really trust your intuition you know who has that intention towards you y'all can be guarded and i don't want you to build up this wall when all you had to do was trust your intuition and not let certain folks in because some people you should be be let in you know like y'all can be guarded and there is validness to being guarded, but you lose a lot and you miss out a lot on a lot when you're too guarded. You picking up what I'm putting down? You're low key in your relationships. You're not really into, you know, posting people all up on the gram, um, you know, PDA, um, big gestures. You're not really into that. I would say that you guys are very good natural manifestors. You keep your goals to yourself, which is really good because you know sometimes when you share too much with people like they put the evil eye i don't know if you're familiar with evil eye maybe i'll talk about evil eye means this <laughs> um you're really good at like you know visualizing what you want and taking the steps and you have the discipline to make what you want happen y'all are very like results focused oh trust trust is so important to y'all y'all once once somebody loses your their your trust once somebody loses your trust, they do not get it back. You may forgive, but you do not forget. You you may even put little like tests for people to see if, um, you know, they can really be trusted. You know, you know, saying small things or doing little things just to observe and see what they will do, um, which is very. That's what I was saying with the garden, but I guess pre-screening. It's a pre-screening, right? But once once you do trust someone, you are extremely loyal, and that's beautiful. Scorpio, some cons. It is very secretive. You all are very secretive. You can be obsessive, even kind of like Capricorn. You you really like power. You really like control. You want and strive for leadership, or like to be in leadership, or to be in high positions. No role with power. A role with a lot of secrets um anger y'all could be angry motherfuckers yes you can um because you are a water sign and you are just very intense um you may not even realize that you're coming off angry but because you have this intensity to you like some people might be like whoa and it's just like what are you talking about like like i'm literally just talking and it's like hey okay calm down it's just like i'm literally just using my words you'll also be very angry if somebody betrays your trust oh overall stability is very important to you you're very protective of yourself and you're very selective of who you keep around let me know scorpio mars did that resonate did i miss anything um did it not resonate let me know down below please i really appreciate it i really like your comments and I'm fucking with you, Scorpio, because you, fu you fucking with me and I'm fucking with you and we just fucking with each other. And the next video will be Sagittarius and I'll see y'all later. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye.